So talking more about the organ transplants and how personalities appear to travel with the organs. Now, the ramifications of this, it's, well, I mean, of course, nothing straightforward being a human being. Uh, if we look at it from the biological facet first of all, we can see that the cellular structure of the organ has memory. And so this is what uh, more and more scientists are starting to conclude, that the body has memory. And in actual fact, we know that every single cell has the memory and the format and, and construct of creating the whole body. This microscopic little cell, every single one of them is programmed exactly the same to create the whole body, only something tells them individually that they create certain bits, like eyes and livers and skin and bones and nails and all that sort of stuff. Who tells them that? Where does this information come from? You see, when we look into the simulation theory, it starts to look more uh, probable because we can see, well, the program writer has wrote that. If we've got something which is amazing, uh, like graphics or you know AI or something like that um, then we can go wow that's really really clever how does it do that well because it's had clever programmers and so the body has had a clever programmer hasn't it and so of course then this is where God comes into things it is just so super super genius and intelligent and brilliant for human beings to get our heads around that any level of intelligence that we could ever consider could never do it. And so with our level of intelligence doing what we do, thinking that we know, we know a few things here and there, what we know is absolutely nothing in real terms. And when the body does what it does and it shows us its genius and how it's just a miracle, well, we can only just gaze in awe, can't we? But when we look at a transplant of whatever variety, it could be a skin graft, it could be um, a bone graft or something like that information is going to come with that and I'm assuming that the, the, the tissue is living it's got to be living and um, so when we have this living tissue put inside our bodies then we have uh, a certain memory with it and it's really curious um, when we listen to um, people speaking about these transplant patients who have been in the seat of um, uh, these organs, 